Ooh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. This is Jackie Denise here. It's Tuesday evening, and yes, I am behind time, but it's for a very good reason. I'm just getting in from a marvelous event at Nash Community College. It was an annual donor reception. And I don't know whether you all know it or not, but my daughter, hi there, Tanisha, how you doing, sis? My daughter and I, we are spearheading a partnership with Nash Community College. And we had to go out there tonight for an event to honor my mom and what we're doing with the college. But I'll share more about that tomorrow. Tonight, I have an amazing drop off the diving board for you all. So I would like for you to just give me just a few minutes of your time and I'm going to be in and I'm going to be out. Okay. I'm hoping that you all have had an amazing day. Hi there, Iris. So nice to see you. Let me put some glasses on so I can see a little bit better. All right. Listen, I want to share with you all from the subject matter on this evening, just discard it already. Just discard it already. And we know that to discard something means that we get rid of it, we lose it, we let it go, we trash it, we dump it, we kick it to the curb. Hi, Mother Maxine, we kick it to the curb. You all go ahead and invite somebody to come in because this is going to be excellent on tonight, I promise you. We just hang on to stuff. Do you all see this? Let me show you something. Do you see this? Do you see it? This is my phone case. I purchased this phone case, thank you so much, in 2020. We are now in 2023. Do you see it? Can you see how it's all scratched up? It's all modeled up? Can you see that the back of my phone case is jacked up? It still does the job, but there's nothing, um, it, it, it does the job, but not like it ought to. This phone case, you may cannot see it, but if you were to have it in your hands right now, the coating has worn off of the back of the phone case. You might can't see it, but trust me when I tell you all that the cover that, that protects the screen on my phone, Jackie B. Davis, the thing is so modeled, so scratched up, you see it, so scarred up, that really my finger doesn't even slide smoothly across it like it's supposed to. Blessings, Iris. I'm so glad to see you. This phone case is three years old. It still look cute, Jock. What's up, buddy? It still looks cute, but it ain't working like it ought to be working. When I'm trying to function and flow on my phone, it's, it's causing me time because I have to keep doing it and keep doing, keep trying and keep trying. It's simply not functioning at optimal capacity anymore as it was designed to do. But guess what happened? I finally got around to ordering me a new phone case this weekend. It came in in like two days from Amazon.prime. It came in on time. I pulled it out. I looked at it. I looked at my old one. I looked at the new one. I looked at the old one. I was like, uh, I really, really still like the old one because I like the design. The rose color matches my laptop. The rose color matches my, my, uh, my mouse that I have. I just, it matches my laptop cover that I have. But guess what? It wasn't working no more. I needed to get something new. And so I decided to get outside of the box. I decided to go ahead and press the Amazon Prime button and get me some new stuff so I can keep it moving. Listen, why do we have such a problem with getting rid of old stuff? I'm thinking about PJs. They, they tow all the pieces in the seat, the, the, the bottoms of them, the, the hem part. The, the foot part is all raggedy because it drags the floor. We've been wearing them forever, but you don't understand. These are my favorite PJs. These are the ones that I sleep the best in. They know my body. You know, we come up with all kinds of reasons. We wear stuff 
that's got holes in it. It's got a rip in it. We'll put something on top of it. Put a cardigan on it. Put a sports jacket on it. Nobody will see. Get on a, lot, a long blouse. Nobody will see. Guess what? Why do we keep holding on to stuff that is damaged? Holding on to stuff that is no longer serving us well, Brandy, as it is supposed to serve us. What is the thing that keeps us stuck in the land of familiarity instead of branching out, discarding the old stuff, get rid of it, put it in the trash. Don't even drop it off at the goodwill. It needs to be taken to the dumpster, right? But we'll just keep holding on. We'll keep holding on. We just keep holding on, T. But I want to submit to you all tonight on this diving board that there's a divine exchange that needs to happen. We got to break free from the familiarity spirit. That's what it is. It's a familiarity spirit that makes us comfortable, that makes us, you know, feel like we don't have to upgrade anything. You know, I just throw this on and I just go and I just do what I do. But what about making the decision, you know what? It might just be time to get something new. New, 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 hey, everything new. It might be time to get something new. God says in his word in Isaiah 43, listen, uh, behold, I do all things new. I make all things new. Do you not perceive? I can't show you my new phone case because I'm using it right now, you know, sharing with you guys. But when I open myself up, I even check it out. I even went to the trash and I dumped the new, the old phone case that the coating and everything is worn off. Sentimental value. That's a good answer. If it's something that's worth being kept as a sentimental item. Woo! You better preach, Mother Maxine. Listen. I put it in the trash. I had it to the trash can with it. I was going to loose it and let it go and dump it into the trash. But then that old familiarity spirit stopped me. I said, hold up. I better hold on to it for a little bit. I better put it over here on the counter in a little nice spot until after I use the new one for a few days just to make sure that I really like it. Anybody know what I'm talking about? We have trouble sometimes letting go of the old because we don't want to start over. Because we don't want to invest our time and energy into breaking in something new. Okay? But listen, God is saying, I make all things new. Do you not perceive it? Boy, I gave my, myself a real good shot. At this new phone case and cover, protective, locked-in shield. And guess what, Iris? Oh, my God. Girl, the thing, whoo, it does it just like that, like it's supposed to do. I don't have to keep on doing it and pressing it and pressing it. I can just, whoo, one shot and bam, there it is. When I touch the back of it, it's sleek, it's smooth, it glides under my fingertips. That's the way it was created to operate. That's the way it was designed to function, to give me ease and speed and to give me a good, nice feeling under my fingertips. I want to say to somebody tonight, when you make up your mind that it's time to discard that old thing, I'm talking about old thing. What old thing, Jackie, Denise? I'm talking about people, places, and things, okay? People, places, and things, baby. I know proper vernacular, people, places, and things, but I feel like saying it like this, people, places, and things, baby, when you make up your mind that that, they, it, the mindset, the behavior, the choices, the decisions, all of those things, the moves that you just recently made, if they're not serving you well, if the function has stopped working, Everything is given an unction to function, right? If the function has stopped working, it ain't doing you no good. It's not serving you well. It might be serving you okay, 
But God wants you with your amazing self, with your productive self, with your creative juices that flow just like water out of a sieve. God wants you to have something that serves you well in an excellent way. So you might need to get you some new bedroom shoes, okay? You might need to stop wearing those socks. Not only is the heel already out, but the big toe and the little toe and the middle toe on the... Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, listen, uh, listen, Jojo. It might be time for an upgrade. And you might surprise yourself that it makes you feel so good once you get it in your hands. Ha <laughs> ha! Anybody interested in an upgrade on this diving board? Anybody interested in breaking out, breaking free from the status quo, from the norm? Oh, but I've had it for 15 years. Actually, I'm, I just pulled on my top and it just struck my mind. I think that I've had this top for about seven years. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? Navy blue, my favorite color. I'm thinking about Mother Maxine's comment, it may be of sentimental value. Now, that's when God said in Isaiah 43, do you not perceive, do you not discern, okay? If it's discern, if it's of sentimental value, then you hold on real tight to it. But if it's truly not of that sentimental value, you just kind of have gotten used to it. You, 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 your hands know it. Even the side is, 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 is coming up a little bit, but it still works. But is it working well? It still operates, but is it operating well? It's still doing what it's supposed to do. Every time I drop my phone, it protects it from cracking. So it's still doing that on the inside. But the outside is another story. God wants us to be well and to be whole on the inside. And just as well and whole on the outside. Hey, how many of you are happy about that? I know I am. So listen, I want you to just say to yourself, if it's not a sentimental valued item, an heirloom, photographs, you know, jewelry. I've got on a bracelet right now that my mama She's been in heaven for 16 years. This is a diamond and sapphire bracelet that she left for me. And I've had it 16 years. It ain't going nowhere. Okay? Sentimental value. This phone case, some people that we're connected with, some places that we continue to go to, that we just, you don't even feel right every time you go there. Every time you put the, put the location in the GPS, Every time you press the button and say, take me over there to Sunset Hill, you, you don't even feel right going there because it's not serving you well. You don't, you don't even feel right continuing to go to that workplace where you've been for the last five and a half years. And guess why? You've got, you've outgrown that place. You've gotten bigger than that place. It's not serving you well. But you continue to go because it's familiar. It's comfortable. At least I know what I'm working with over there. At least I know I got a job. At least I know that they're going to do this. At least I know. Okay, I get it. But what about the upgrade though? The new phone case. It's an upgrade. What about the upgrade though? Do you want to continue settling for status quo? Do you want to continue sitting on that third step when God wants to take you all the way to the top of the staircase? You want to stay there in familiarity in the comfort zone rather than go and get the upgrade. Oh my God. Listen, if you don't want your upgrade, slide them across the screen, the screen to me because I will surely take them. Glory to God. I just want to Excuse me, I just want to encourage somebody tonight. It might be time for you to put it aside. Is anybody sharing the broadcast for me? Y'all know I love that. You know I need it. I need your help to get this word out. The diving board is a great, it leads into a great big pool. And I need for you to help me to expand it. So y'all please share the broadcast for me. If it blesses you, it will bless someone else. But God wants to say to you all tonight, Listen, the phone case ain't working no more. It's scratched up. You can't even hardly see out of it. I can't even see clearly out of it. It doesn't, 
work well on the back case because the coating is worn. Discarded already. Enough of holding on to dead stuff. Enough of holding on to stuff that's not working in optimal capacity. Enough of being stuck in familiarity. Get another color. Get another shape, all right, if you need to do that. Do something different. Get a little wild with it. Get outside of the norm. Listen, the spirit of familiarity will suck the life out of you. The spirit of familiarity will hijack your identity and your birthright. The spirit of familiarity will keep you from the promotion. It will keep you from the increase. It will keep you from the upgrades. God says, behold, I do a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Are you really going to stay stuck in familiarity when there is so much more and so much greater that is calling you to come up higher? Come get it. Do you not see through the telescope? Mary, Mary say, you need to look through the telescope and see where you're going to be. Familiarity will keep you from getting there. So you got to discard it. Discard it already. Say enough is enough. Get something new. Try it. And if it doesn't work for some reason, you can send it back. But at least you tried it, right? I got this case. It took me two days to figure out, you know what? This is so much better. Oh my God, I've been struggling with this case. I've been wiping and wiping and cleansing and cleansing. I've been swiping and swiping and swiping. It's worn out. Time for something new. So let it go. Let it go. Get you something better. Let it go. Hey, if it doesn't serve you well, if the function and the operation have ceased to do the job, loose it and let it go. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for sharing, Iris. Loose it and let it go. Discarded already. I'm using the example, a real experience about my phone case. I like this phone, phone case a lot. I really did. I liked it a lot. I was trying to hold on to it. I, oh, I put the same one back into the cart, the shopping cart. That's a spirit of familiarity, okay? It's an ordinary common example, Latanya. But guess what? It'll cross over into many, uh, many different areas of people, places, and things. I put the same one right back in the daggone car. I said, at least I know this one. Listen, but when I operate in that mindset, I'm not growing. I'm not broadening my horizons. I'm not wetting my palate. I'm not trying something new and something different. Listen, there is greater, there is better, there is easier. I couldn't believe how smooth the back of it was. I couldn't believe that I only truly had to swipe one time. I barely had to touch at all because I got an upgrade. God wants to make life easier for somebody. I just heard that. God literally wants to make life easier for you. He wants to make life smoother for you. He wants to make it so that there's no struggle. There's no frustration, okay? He wants to help you be able to do in less time what you've been doing, but it requires you to loose the old stuff, discard it, trash it, dump it, get rid of it, trade it in, trade it up, do something. And get you what you need. Is anybody diving with me on the diving board? Are y'all diving with me? Is this is this is this coming through for you? I hope it is because this is what the what the Lord gave me to share with you all. Okay, this spirit of familiarity it goes across the board. It will keep you in a limited position. It will keep you in a box. The spirit of familiarity. It's a dream stiller. Yeah. It's a blessing blocker. You get me? The spirit of familiarity. Well, at least I know it's a piece of something. What? What? My mind can't even hardly comprehend that. A piece of man is better than... What? The devil is a lie. I'll just take the breadcrumb. Why? When you can have the whole loaf. Why? 
The spirit of familiarity will keep us stuck in the, the land of settlement. And God doesn't want you to do that. No need to walk around looking raggedy and toe down. My God, when all you got to do is get that upgrade. Get that upgrade. Hey, and listen, I didn't pay a penny more for this one than I paid for the one I've been holding on to for three years. Been, been struggling with for the last six, eight months. But I said, I'm going to just keep wiping it and keep cleaning it. But God, listen, when I finally got broke free from the shackle of familiarity, and I said, this is ridiculous. You know, Jack and Denise, this is just doesn't make any sense. This is just ridiculous. You need to go ahead and bite the bullet and you need to get, a, get another phone case like ASAP. And it made instantly, it made life, it made my task. It made my projects, my assignments so much easier. And that's what God wants to do for you. If only, if only you would go ahead and discard that old tore all to pieces garment. That nightgown is tore all to pieces. Holes in the front, holes in the back, a slit down the side that wasn't created that way. It's tore all to pieces. You know I know proper English. I got multiple degrees, but I feel it just like this. That mess is told all to pieces. You need to get rid of it. That armband, that that is it, told all to pieces. Okay? That exercise mat is crumbling. You know, it's coming apart. That pocketbook, those shoes, guess what? They're dry rotten through the pandemic, not being utilized. Every time you touch it, stuff is coming off. You need to discard it. You need to get rid of it and let God upgrade you. When you get rid of the old, you make way for the new. When you get rid of the old, you invite and you magnetically attract something new, something brand new, something fresh, something hot and popping. I don't know about you, but I like new. I like new. I prefer new. Unless, of course, it's a sentimental item. And then I love it. You know, my mama's bracelet right here. You know, yeah, it's one of my most precious possessions, you guys. But I like when I'm, I like new. I like new. I can do consignment, but I like new. I can get a, a, a turnkey property, but I prefer new. I, I can get a secondhand car. But, you know, I've had both secondhand cars, many of them. And I've had, um, well, I've had two brand spanking new cars fresh off the lot. And I've had one luxury vehicle that was only five years old. Listen, baby, 50 some thousand miles on. I prefer new. I prefer new. Then I can break it in just like I want to. Right? I know that's right. Listen, God is saying he wants to do a new thing. But you're going to have to break up with that old Toe down, ragged it, mess. Hi, Lisa. You're going to have to break up with the thing that has worn out. It's worn out. It doesn't work anymore. It's causing you to work in excess. It's causing you to exert more energy and focus and concentrate. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Why this, look, clean it up. Why this thing ain't working? Oh my, it's because you need to get rid of it. You need to discard it already. Enough of this. The whites can only do but so much for so long. Look, let's bump up and let's go ahead and get the bag on upgrade. And I was smiling. Once I, you know, I had to break my mind and I was like, ooh, okay, it's new. It's blue. It's blue. Y'all know blue is my favorite color, especially navy. My new case is blue, like an ocean scene on the back. And you know what? It's pretty slick. The more I look at it, Precious Paula Rogers, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Sometimes you got get a haircut. You don't like it at first. It's new to you. You got to break it in. You got to wear that thing for a few days. You know, get some brand new shoes. You love them in the store. You trying to wear them and they are cramping your toes just a little little bit. You got to break them in a time or two and then you're going to be spot on. You're going to be loving them. They may even become your absolute favorite pair. Listen, don't be afraid. If it ain't working for you, you need to discard it. If it has stopped working for whatever reason, you know, and, and it's obvious that it's not going to work, you need to discard it. If you've been trying to fix it and fix it and fix it and fix it and fix it, but it ain't no more fixing, 
it's it's gone. The coating is gone. It's just gone. You, I, I, I'm looking. I can't even see clearly th with, to you all because it's just that motley. It's just that gone. If there's no more fixing to it, then you need to discard it. Now, if you can repair it, and if you like it, no, if you love it and you can repair it, then you repair it, okay? If you can work it out, my God, to where you're still happy with it, then you do that. But them old raggedy underwear, them drawers. <laughs> my daughter says that. That's not my language. My daughter said drawers. <laughs> I say underwear. Okay, undies. <laughs> But she says, look, they holy, baby. They holy. And I'm not talking about holy like with the Holy Ghost. They are holy. They are super holy. I mean, multiple holes. If one hole, I can see holding on to it. Listen to that. Multiple holes, I can see holding on to it. Listen, you, you need to discard it. You need to get rid of it. Get you something brand new. Get you something fresh. Get you something hot, you know. Pop it up. Do whatever you need to do. Just make sure that it's serving you well. All right, that's what I stopped by the diving board tonight to do. I just got in from an amazing event to honor my mom. I'll be sharing some stuff about that on tomorrow. I'm I'm tired now. Um, I'm not going to be doing any more sharing tonight, but I had to stop by the diving board to see you guys, to check in on you. And I had to encourage somebody tonight who's been thinking about making an upgrade, who's been hesitating on ditching something. Ditch it. Get rid of it. Discard it. Get your new one. Okay? It's just that simple. Press the Amazon Prime button and just let it come to you. Right to your front door, as a matter of fact. Get you something new and stop laboring. Laboring with that old stuff that has completely worn out. I'm using my phone case as a metaphor, but you all know that in real life, in real time, real talk, that can go for anything. You got to properly discern it for yourself because I don't know what's in your plate, on your plate. I don't know what's going on in your life. And so you got to discern it. But if your Holy Ghost spirit, forgive me, no coffee. If your Holy Ghost feel, if your spirit feel, you have the ability and the capacity to properly discern what the metaphor might be representing in your real time life. So do you not know? Do you not perceive it? God wants to do something new. And if I were you, I'm not you. But if I were you and I had my mind, and if I were you, Alicia, I wouldn't miss it. If I were you, I wouldn't miss it. I would discard that mess. Bam, get rid of it. Okay? The phone case, it ain't even a person. It's not even breathing. It's not a person. It has no pulse. It's not a person. But I was tied to it. I was tied to it. I was like, oh, I like this, but I really like it. But it's just, it's just great. But it ain't working. Why we want to hold on to things, Tammy, that's not working? Mother Maxine, I see you better preach up in here tonight. Upgrade now. Why do we want to hold on to things that just are not working anymore? People, places, and things. Why? You know why? It's that spirit. It's that spirit of familiarity. Unless me and Mother Maxine tag team preaching through the, through the airwaves tonight. It's that spirit of familiarity. Unless it has genuine and authentic sentimental value. Like my diamond and sapphire bracelet that my mama left to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This ain't got no sentimental value. It's just familiarity. All right, that's it. Thank y'all for diving with me tonight. I'm so appreciative. I see you, Tammy Clinton. I hope you're doing well saying true. I see Alicia saying that's right. I want to just um, say to you, I see you. Paula got just got married sun Sunday, you guys. She's a Mrs. now. I see you, Latanya. Oh, I saw Apostle Janice popped in. I see you, Iris. I see Jock popped in. I see different people coming to the diving board. And I'm so appreciative and grateful. I hope y'all are sharing the broadcast for me. <coughs> Excuse me, sharing the broadcast for me. Because it really helps me to fulfill my assignment that God has given me to speak. He told me to speak. And when you do not speak, 
people are not getting what they need. I, I, I just got to open up my mouth and I got to let the Lord have his way. I got to be a vessel to encourage people because when God speaks to me and give me these topics, and then he began to give me that immediate download or it comes in a little bit in time enough to report to the diving board. It's for somebody. It's for you. And if it's not for you, it's for you to share it with somebody else that it might be for. And so there's no coincidences with God. Everything is expressly intentional. And so I want you to be intentional for me, if you would, please, and share the broadcast. I appreciate you guys. And did you know that I have a YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is my sa is same as the same as my name, Jackie Denise. Would y'all do me a favor and check out my YouTube channel as well? You may see yourself there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you would check out my YouTube channel, like and subscribe and share that with somebody else because I have a mandate on my life as an evangelist, a prophetic evangelist at that. You know, I'm a pastor as well. I'm a teacher. That's my primary gift. I've got work to do. I got work to do in the kingdom. And I am so glad when God gives me an opportunity to come to the diving board and it blesses me. Guess what? When I see divers on the diving board with me. Let me see. I see some new comments. I see you, Nina. Bless you, lady girl. See Teresa. Glory to God. I see my cousin T. Who else here? Who else here? I see y'all. I see these comments. I see Lisa Lisa. That's what I call her. I see Alicia. Yeah, yeah. I see Tammy. I see Dolly. Um, I believe you're an apostle or a pastor, Dolly. Bless you. Thank you so much for coming on. I see you. I see you. I see you guys giving comments and just, you know, supporting the broadcast and the message. And all I can do is lift my hands up in the air and just say, thank you, Jesus. All I can do is throw my hands up in the air and let the Lord know that I'm grateful. As I get ready to close off of here, I just heard the Holy Spirit say, pray for the people. So I want to pray about that spirit of familiarity for just a moment, if you will allow me to do so before you get off of here, because I'm telling you, there's something that needs to be broken about that spirit of familiarity, and it goes much deeper and much farther than a phone case. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, mm, I just give you praise right now. I give you thanks and honor and glory and worship. I thank you for every single diver that's on this diving board right now. I thank you for those who will report to the diving board later. I thank you right now, God, for a mind shift, for a pivot. I thank you for a trajectory change for their lives, God. Whatever they may be tied to, that it's time to ditch. It's time to discard. It's time to throw it in the trash. It's try time to trade it in. Time to upgrade and get something new, something that's better something that's excellent, something that's going to serve them well the way that you intend. I pray, God, now that you will give them the grace to allow the exchange. Give them the strength to let go. Give them the, oh God, the wherewithal, Father, to trust you even when they don't know the whole plan, God. I plead the blood of Jesus over the spirit of familiarity that is nothing but a death trap for your people. I plead the blood of Jesus over the spirit of familiarity that's nothing but a hole in the sidewalk for your people, God. I plead the blood of Jesus over the spirit of familiarity and I break every chain right now, link by link with the words that come out of my mouth. I break every chain of familiarity. Because, Lord, it is a strangulation. My God, it's a chokehold, God. Oh, my God, it's a blockage. It's a barricade. It's a barrier. And I plead the blood and I decree and declare tonight that the divers are receiving the strength of God, the wind of God to help them uh, run through run through troops and leap over a barricade. My God, as discussed in the book of Psalm. Hallelujah, God. Give them that leaping and that running anointing, God, away from from the spirit of familiarity. Help them to come out of the comfort zone and be great. <laughs> Help them to come on out of that comfort zone and embrace being great. Help them to get over fear, get over trepidation, get over anxiety. Help them, God, to not be afraid of the new, the new, the new, the upgrades that you have for them. 
help them to help themselves by giving themselves an honest to goodness chance. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus right now, I decree and declare that no blessings will be blocked. No blessings will be left on the table. No blessings will have to be returned to sender. Ha! Shabasa. Return to God. Return to heaven because they're not ready. Because they want to hold on to the old and they don't want to receive the new that you have for them. I decree and declare, my God, that minds are opening up right now. Hearts are opening up right now. They are, they are perceiving. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43. They are perceiving the new. They are seeing what's springing up before them, God. And they are springing up right along with it. Because they want it to receive it. And they will not miss it. In Jesus' mighty, precious, and matchless name, amen. All right, guys. All right. Thank y'all for letting me pray for you. I see some new comments. Glory to God. Thank y'all for uh, sharing the broadcast tonight. Y'all forgive me for my stuttering. I'm off caffeine for two weeks now. And when I don't have that caffeine, my words come out a little funny until it works all the way out of my system. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm on a natural high over here. I'm good. Ah, I bless God for you all. Thank you for putting the scripture in there, Tammy. Isaiah 43. Listen, the new is upon you, but you're going to have to discard the old. Y'all do it. Be easy. And I'll see you soon. Thank y'all for diving. Share the broadcast. Check out my YouTube channel. And look, be on the lookout for me sharing some amazing pictures about tonight's event. That's why I'm looking just a little bit fancy because I just left an amazing event and I'll tell you more about it on tomorrow. God bless. Sleep well. And listen, keep it moving. God bless. Bye.